Thank you for your presence being in this place on today, Lord God. Yes, Lord. Lord God, we pray, Lord God, as we and as we go into service on tonight, Father God, that you would just have your way in this place on today, yes, Lord God. God. Lord God, we ask you that you will move all flesh, Father God, and pour your spirit to us, Father God. Yes, God. Oh God, how we thank you, Lord God, that we're able to come together, Father God, for a great time such as this, Father God. Yes, Lord. Oh God, we pray God. for every soul on today, Father God. Every person that may be burden on, to, on tonight, Father God. We just ask the Lord God that you will put your healing over their body right now yes, in the name God. of the Jesus, name of Lord God. God. Anything they might be going through, Father God, we just ask that you will step in the midst, Father God, right yes, now Lord. in the name of the Jesus, name Father God. God. Lord God, we pray for every person in this place on tonight, Father God. Yes, God. Lord God, we just ask that you will have your way in yes, their lives on today, Lord. Father God. Yes, God. Anything that they might be in need of, Father God, we just ask you, Father God, that you just have your way, Lord God. Have your way, have your way in this ministry, Father God. Yes, God. Have your way in everybody's life on today, Father yes, God. God. Lord God, we pray for every church that's open on today, Father God. Yes, Lord. Lord God, we just ask that you will walk up and down the altar, Father God. Yes, God. Lord God, go on to the prayer classes, Lord God. Yes, Lord. Lord God, for we know that there are things that we are in need of, Father God. And we just know, Lord God, that you will give it to us, Father God. Yes, Lord. So, Father God, we just say thank you all today, you, Lord, Lord God. Lord God, we thank you for uh, being able to see another day, Lord God. Yes, we God. thank you, Lord God, for showing us grace and mercy, Father oh, God. Yes, God. And God, thank we just you, thank you, Lord God, that we have the activity of our limbs, Father yes, God. God. We're thank able you, to see, Father God. We're able to hear, Father God. Thank you. We're able God. to walk, Father God. So for that, we just God. say thank you, Lord thank God. God. Lord God, we thank you for the people that are here on today, Father God. That they didn't want to come, Father God. We just thank you, Lord God. Thank that God. you poured in that spirit, Father God, to come and hear the word on tonight, thank Father God. God. So for that, we just say thank you, Lord thank God. God. Lord God, we just ask that you will bless every household, Lord God. Thank bless God. every finances, Father God. Thank Lord God, we ask the Lord God that you will step in the homes, Father thank God, God, and begin to walk up and down the hallways, Lord God. Lord God, God, any problems, Lord God, we ask that you will fix the situations, Lord yes, God. God. And Lord God, we just thank you that you are fixing broken hearts, Father God. Thank and you, you are healing broken wounds, Father God. Thank so for that, we just God. say thank you, Lord thank God. You, Lord. Lord God, we thank you for being in this place on tonight, Father God. Yes, and Lord God, as the speaker come on tonight, Father God, we just ask you, Lord God, that you will give her the wisdom and the knowledge and the understanding of your word, Father yes, God. Father. And Father God, we just say thank you in the thank name, you, name of Jesus. In the name we of decree Jesus. and we decree this in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. <laughs>
serve him in a distant land? Yeah, yeah. Or are you too comfortable now to go where he leads to step out and face in a new direction if he asks you to? Does the phrase sacrificial service scare you more than excite you? But when you got uh, the God Spirit down on the inside of you, He lives in us. Amen. So it should it shouldn't um, scare you at all because whatever. But God leading us, and you say God out of my footsteps. That's God doing. It. You know, right? We gotta do it God's way uh -huh. and not our way. Because right. our way it might be a little destruction. And there will be some fighting there, you know. I be scared of, you know, God I should, you know, uh, you know. God says go to the the right. And you go to the left. Hmm, well, that might that they'll, 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 if you obey God and that that destruction come, who fault is it? It ain't God. It's your own fault because you disobeyed God. So you should not let uh, the devil lead us. If you got a heart for God, follow God. You know, you got a best friend. You know how hard. they don't want to come. They don't want to uh, serve God. You try now you can. Just keep praying for them. And God will turn their hearts. You know, and that's what we do for people. We turn for them. We pray for people. You know, for the word. You know, pray for people. You know, that's what we do. Yeah. God does pray for one another. Amen. Praise Amen. God. And Nehemiah said he was a man who struggled with these same questions. Uh -huh. He had worked hard to rise high in the Persian, Persian government. He was one of the closest advisors to the king himself. Nehemiah had wealth power, influence. He wasn't just comfortable. The word said Nehemiah had it made. You know. But Nehemiah had something of even greater work to him. A love for God and a deep desire to serve him even above the king. Nehemiah was a man of God. He also was a man of prayer, a devoted to God. He was a man, he was devoted to God's word. He had a passion to please God. That's what we all strive for, to please God, the Holy Father. And then, uh, please our Savior, who died for us, you know, he did all that for us, just for us, you know. To save just for us, you know, God did that. All of our faults, he looked beyond them to save us, you know, he looked beyond all of our needs, but gave us, you know. He, we, he loved us so we didn't even love ourselves. The right. stuff that was harmful to us, you know, God has holy rains around us, you know, and no harm but destruction comes to us. But we knew we weren't living right, you know, before we got saved, we were all sinners. Yeah. Uh -huh. He had a passion, like I said, to please God, and that passion made him a deeply spiritual man. It also made him open to God's call, a call that was about to move him away from his life of comfort and to a new life of excitement and opportunity. Would he really, would he really be willing to step out of his comfort zone. The book of Nehemiah is a story of a man of influence uh -huh. and comfort, leaving it all behind to go far away and face opposition. Ridicule, hard work, and personal inconvenience to get a job done for the Lord and for his people. This is a book about a passion of prayer for the word of God, for renewal of personal devotion to the Lord. 
This is a book about sacrificial service to near my people and to God. Uh -huh. And it is a story about leadership rallying God's people to a greater sense of purpose and devotion. And I know this word is for me too. It's a definite for me. But I do take heed. The book of Nehemiah is a sounding board for each of us when we eagerly speak of serving God sacrificially. The keynotes are simple and profound. Sacrificial service involves personal sacrifice giving up something we treasure in order to do God's work. Even in the climate of ridicule, rejection, and hard, hardship for some, it is leaving the comforts of home and finally to serve God on a mission field. For others, it is sac sacrificial personal comfort to serve God in the homeland, but still others, it is given sacrificial, sacrificially so that others can go and serve. When we think of sacrificial service, we have much to learn from Nehemiah. Uh -huh. uh, and there was so much, uh, and, you know, getting to Nehemiah, it is just so much to, uh, when you get in it, it just, you know, that draws you in, you know, that really draws you in. And there are, these are the members of Nehemiah, son of Hakalayas. Nehemiah's concern for Jerusalem. In the late autumn, in the month of Kisne, in the 20th year of King Ataxeris, Reading, I say that, pronounce it right. I was at the fortress of Susa, Hannah. One of my brothers came to visit me with some other men who had just arrived from Judea. I asked them about the Jews who had returned there from captivity and about the and about how things were going. In Jerusalem. Oh, we are in the first excuse, in the first chapter of Nehemiah. They said to me, things are not going well for those who return to the province, province of Judea. They were in great trouble. And, uh, they were they were in great trouble and distance. The wall of the roof had been torn down and the gates had been destroyed by fire. He said, when I heard this, I sat down and wept. In fact, for days, I mourned, fasted, and prayed to the God of heaven. Uh -huh. Then I said, oh Lord, God of heaven, the grace and awesome God who keeps his covenant of unfailing love and those who love him mm -hmm. and obey his commandments. Listen to my prayer. Look down and see me pray at night and day for your people, the Israel. Said I confess that we have sinned against you. Yes, even my own family and I have sinned. We have sinned terribly by not obeying the commandments, the decrees, and regulations that you gave us through your servant Moses. And please remember that you told your servant Moses, if you are unfaithful to me, I will scatter you among the nations. But if you return to me and obey my commandments, and live by them. Then even if you are exiled, ex exiled to the ends of the earth, I will bring you back to the place I have chosen.
chosen for my name to be honored. That's just, uh, that's so powerful to me, you know, that's really, really powerful, you know. You know, and the key verses, you know, got some key verses in me a lot, you know, uh -huh. and uh, I'm looking at the key verses, uh, first, uh, first chapter, I mean, verse uh, one, one, Key verse, one of the key verses is one and the third chapter. The third chapter, I believe, is one and three. That things are not going well for those who return to the prominence of Judea. They are in great trouble and disgrace. The wall of Jerusalem has been torn down. And the gates have been destroyed here again by fire. It was something to, uh, you know, to, to dwell on, you know. If things are going well, those who return to the prophets of the day. When you look at that seven.
exalted above all blessings and praise. You alone are the Lord. Uh -huh. yep. What I'm reading from the uh, this is the uh, study Bible. If someone would read uh, some girl copy, I know it would read some everything.
We know that he, we serve a God that cannot lie. We serve a faithful God. Uh -huh. He'll never leave us, you know, never forsake us. Amen. People say it there all along. But I mean, you got Jesus. Right. You ain't never alone. You got the Holy Father. Amen. You know, that sometimes it'll be quiet and still. He'll speak to you. He'll speak to you. But you got the one who speaks to you. You got to be living right, you know. Sacrifice some days. Some days, I go as long as I can before I eat. I'm going to drink a coffee tomorrow. But I try to go as long as I can if I can eat. You know, I, I just praise God, you know, because I'm trying to, I'm seeking Him. You know, I want to get all I can, you know. Right. While we can, we, we don't want God to kind of wait. I said this before. We don't want Him to kind of get up there for us. Say, I know you're not. You got time now to seek Him. He said, seek Him while He can be found. Don't wait till it's too late. You know, let God take your voice. You can't. Why well, the praise say when I had a chance, you know? You know, we never know what tomorrow holds. We ain't got promise. So we, we should live each day as this is as, as if it was our last. You know. We try to be don't worry about who ain't calling you. You better respond to the call of God. That's called I, I I you know, desire for, you know. I don't worry about people that call me and doing this. Oh the Father. It's all about Jesus. It ain't about us. It's all about God. Because he holds the keys. To life and death, you know. Right. And we got a choice. Are we gonna follow Christ? Or are we gonna follow the Savior? The world don't owe us anything. It don't owe us not one thing, you know. But we just gotta keep living for Christ and pray in his holy name. And uh that prayer, I want to say this prayer, Nehemiah, and it's here got one, four through eleven. This was um uh, that prayer, Nehemiah wanted to build the walls of Jerusalem, but he lived far away in Persia, and he served a king who might have seen a forfeit Israel as a potential of a political rival. How was he to accomplish the Gargan, the Gar, the Gar, uh, G-A-R, G A N T U A N task. That's what that word says. Gar Gar Gargantuan task. Nehemiah began with prayer. Although thousands of years old, his words remain a beautiful model of effective prayer. He began with praise for God. Goodness and power moves to confession of his repentance from sin and only then offers his specific request that he finds favor with the king. Note carefully that Nehemiah's action did, did not end with his prayer. God did answer his prayer. King Ataxerus allowed Nehemiah the time the materials needed, but Nehemiah backed up his prayer with a courageous personal commitment to go and rebuild the wall. We would do well to follow Nehemiah's model. Whenever we pray a donation, confession, request, and commitment. Uh huh. You know, it's when you, you know, when you, it's kind of, you know, you know when you're insincere. You know, you got to be sincere. Whatever we ask God for. And some people say, I don't know how to pray. It's time to go. It's time to go. You see, your flow, when you get up in the morning, you hit that flow. You say, Thank you, Jesus. That's a prayer. Because you honor Him first. Uh huh. Which will be the first word coming out of our mouth every day. And we don't feel like, I got God, if you allow me to get up. If I'm in pain or whatever, you allow me to get up. I'm thanking you, Jesus, and being closed in your right mind. Right. Don't we want to be still closed in our right mind? So, right. so many people don't even have common sense. So we praise God for that, you know. You know, if you just praise God for that, just having common sense. That's very important, you know. Following the instructions is very important, you know. Right. And, you know, that's why we serve a, that's why, you know, woo, I guess we just, you know, so blessed to know the Lord, you know. And get yeah. to know him more and more. Yeah. And get deeper and deeper. 
full of wisdom. More and more of knowledge, you know, from God, you know. We study, we, we learn from each other, or we go in sincere prayer. You know, God do, you know. He elevates that mind, you know. He let that old flesh die, you know. He let that old flesh die. He going to do the increase. He going to let the flesh decrease. You know, Lord, take over me. Take over me, Lord. Take over, you know. You gotta be sincere with it, you know. You gotta be sincere when you ask God, you know. And the people, you know, who rest true of the great power and strong hand are the servants. Are, are, are your servants. Oh Lord, please hear my prayer. You know, God said he 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 hears your prayer. He said, I've been down my ear to listen to your prayer. Uh -huh. Lord, hear the prayer. You know, but you all you believe in. When, when somebody tells you it's, it's done, believe on it, stand on it. It's done, you know. It's already done. Yeah, just walk in. I mean, all you gotta do is walk in everything. And just keep giving him the praise, the glory, and the honor. Listen to the prayers of those of us who delight in honoring you. Please grant the success today by making the king favorable to me. Put it into the heart. To be kind to me. Uh -huh. That's what we should be kind to one another. You know, some people didn't get them to they, don't, they, they can't stand it. They hate them. What have you done to them? You ain't getting nothing to me. You no. know? Whatever walk of life, you're gonna find somebody that's not gonna agree with you. All right. You know, you know hate on you for whatever reason. If you are succeed and they're not, they're gonna hate on you. They're gonna have some bad to say about you. But just keep on playing with others. Whatever you, when you're walking right with God, He's going to bless you with whatever he, your desires are. Desires, whatever your desires are. He's going to bless you. So don't be in the heart, you know, with people who are most successful. Because it's coming. It's coming to pass. You know, it's going to be meek. They want to stay meek and humble, you know, before the Lord. Because He's coming back for a church without a spot or a ring. Yeah, yeah. We come back for the pure in heart. Yeah. So each and every day we ask for repentance. God, anything in me that is not pleasing to you, I say, God, remove it, you know. Yeah, yeah. Clean me up. Revive in me, the Holy Spirit. Do it over again in me. Uh -huh. Revive in me, you know. God got revived in us, you know. He got yeah. to, he got to he redo it in us, you know. That's an out of a bad thought or what have you know. He can he, 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 he can redo it. Yeah. He can revive us. He revives us. Thank you. You know, for you know it in the house, you know. Just, just flow in the spirit. Flow it wherever you are. You just flow in the spirit. That's God. He's providing us. He's doing it, you know, over and over. You got courage, whatever. That's God, you know. You can't stay there in that day of sin. You can't stay because God is alive, you know. We got to, we, 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 God is alive, living on you know. So we got to just walk around there in faith, shake it off, because the, the devil can't hold us down. Whatever God got for us, whatever God says, whatever he leads us, it is the right and the holy way. Whatever, you know, whatever is in your heart that you are, uh, uh, that whatever's in your heart and that you are desiring, whatever, whatever you need from God, he got it. He got it, you know. He got it, you know. Jesus is out of everything. He's even married to the past life. We know that. Because I've been there. He's married to us, you know. He is married to us. So there was not no, uh, you know, reason to uh, not live for Christ, not follow for Him. Uh -huh. In His Word, in uh, the Book of Leviticus, the eleventh chapter, in the forty-fourth verse, it says, "Be ye holy, uh -huh. because I am holy." Right. And He said, "Without holiness, without it, we'll never see Him. You know, we'll never see Him. We're not holy, so we got to be ye holy." Uh -huh. You know, that's 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 Bible. That's his word. I I I say, you know, I call the Bible a blueprint. You know, the blueprint for us. You know, what excuse we got for the live by it. You know, the study of live by it, you know. Study and live by it, you know. Because that's what God finds with us. Uh -huh. To live this life. We can't get yeah. with it. Yeah. We gotta live this life, saints. Right. You know, I don't care what they say about the uh saints of God, holy, sanctified church. I would have been drunk in the spirit than be drunk with drunk in the swine. Out there with the sinners, you know. So we gotta just uh keep putting God forward and when Satan comes, we 
got uh, God tell us the power for the rebuke him. You know, rebuke him. Yeah, not in name, rebuke him. You know, so we pray, you know, we pray. You know, destruction comes, but sometimes destruction does come. Yeah. You know, because we got to listen to the word of God. You know, yeah. right. we just got to keep praising him and living this life Amen. that he requires us to. And let's keep loving on him. Uh -huh. Keep loving on Jesus.